Hello guys, my name is Jay Bansoda and today I am going to tell you the real story of the Porsche Carrera GT. So, now you have probably known that it sounds and revs like a Formula 1 car and why it does so. So, I am going to tell you the real story behind that. So, in the decade of 80s, Porsche was the engine builder of the McLaren and it was supplying turbocharged V6 to the McLaren and the McLaren dominated the whole season to a certain extent due to those engines and you have probably not heard about this project because Porsche was funded by a Luxembourg based company named TAG and so the naming rights were on the name of TAG but uh, you can find the name Porsche over the planet covers somehow so this was the thing which made the McLaren cars to dominate the whole decade of 80s then in the decade of 80s the Porsche was giving a try to the naturally aspirated V12 engine for the team footwork and the this project was assigned to the same guy who was behind the, those old V6 and he was none other than the none other than the great Hans Moser and so what he did he just put those old two V6 and, uh, at a certain angle and made a new engine which was displaced which was having a displacement of 3.5 liter and 12 cylinders as it was a V12 engine but that engine was not regarded as one of the masterpieces of him but is regarded as the one of the rarest failures of the Hans Moser and the engine was so large that Woodwork had to redesign their car to get snapped the engine under its hood and so there was a uh, consensus between that that the engine was too bad and and performance the engine was slow and does not uh, capable of revving high as compared to its other counterparts and that deal was so luggy and boring that the footwork had to change their engine suppliers in the midst of the season while they changed their engine suppliers Porsche was keen at developing new engine for them and realized its failure that's why they were developing a new 3.5 liter V10 for the footwork but as the footwork deal pulled the plug in the midst of the season that engine was kept inside the Porsche factory and as just a showpiece that V12 engine lied around the Porsche for a couple of years and then ends up powering their Le Mans car Le Mans car GT1 in the last in the last scene in the 98 after that year the Le Mans changed their ways and accepted cars with open top and so on and that's why Porsche decided to make an LMP car and they decided to use that V10 engine into it and that LMP1 car was none other than the 9R3 and so on but as the Porsche, Porsche was struggling financially the heads the shareholders asked the finances of the company and put the remaining funding in the KN SUV and so that program was asked and for uh, application of that 5 liter engine in the Le Mans that is endurance racing the Porsche had to do some modifications over that they removed the cutting edge pneumatic system of the Formula 1 racing engines and added air restrictors for the rules of endurance racing and they did increase the displacement of engine from 5 to 5.5 liters but after all these thoughts the program got axed after a couple of years the engine which was lying around in the Porsche factory found a permanent home for it and that was inside the hood of the Porsche Carrera GT yes you heard and the Porsche Carrera GT and why this happened as the KN set the market to let and it sold in great numbers the company got a lot of revenue in the form of profit and they invested that money in a new expensive project and named it the car the Porsche Carrera GT and for putting the uh, racing engine inside it they bought the displacement of engine to 4.7 liters 
and then put the engine in uh, the hood of the Porsche Carrera GT and this is why Porsche Carrera GT sounds and behaves much like a Formula 1 car it is having a dry sump lubrication motor it is DOHC engine the cylinder bank angles between both the banks of the V is 68 degrees and it uh, does not have a flywheel it is one of the most rare cars road legal cars which don't have a flywheel connected to their engine and therefore this car has a reputation for stalling i am going to cover in my future videos that uh, why flywheels are used and how they control the moment of inertia but for now keep this thing in mind and so porsche carrera gt behaves a lot like a formula one car and actually is a formula one car as you know the power of a car lies in its engine not in it itself please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this video